We have seen a bit of an uptick in shareholder activism in the U.S. Um, have you seen a similar uptick in Europe, and is it a, a good or a bad thing? It's coming. Uh, again, Guy Weiser-Pratt recently tried to change the governance of Lagardère. There are a few examples, uh, and I think a number of good reasons why it should pick up in the near future. One of those is the implementation of a EU directive that will uh, greatly enlarge the ability by, uh, 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 to, by shareholders to give proxy and, and therefore uh, to, uh, to have uh, proxy battles, a bit like in the U.S. It's interesting because in response to the financial crisis, we've seen shareholder democracy, and, uh, democracy initiatives uh, really get pushed uh, in a legislative way, proxy access, say on pay, which I know you already have in Europe. Has there been a similar push in Europe? We, we already have very fertile ground for shareholder activists in Europe because we do not have staggered board. We already do have a majority vote for election of directors. And we have the ability of, uh, by shareholders to put resolutions on the agenda. And therefore, uh, I think it's a, a, an easy place for shareholder activists to actually um, be there.